Hi everybody, Happy New Year and welcome to issue two of the I Am Sanjay Shah video series. So we all know that 2016 was an incredibly eventful year, but let's dive right into one of the most talked about events of last year, the USA election and Donald Trump's presidential win. Sanjay, welcome back and let's get chatting about Donald Trump. Now tell me, Sanjay, were you surprised by the results of the USA election? Yes, I was surprised. Reading the press and watching TV, it seemed like uh, Hillary was going to get the vote. So Sanjay, do you think that this result is part of a, a larger global trend? And why is it, do you think, that the pollsters seem to be getting it wrong every time? I think we're going to see more of that around the world. Uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I don't think it's a permanent thing. I think it's just the people of the world um, putting their foot down and saying, I'm not really happy with the things the way they are. So you clearly pay attention to global markets. How do you see the results of the USA election impacting those markets? I think um, initially the, the markets were not happy. If Trump delivers on um, the policies that he's promised, for example, cutting corporation tax in the US, that could have a huge positive impact on the US economy and the, therefore the world market. If Trump runs the US as he has his businesses, I think um, he'll do really well. And um, I feel that the financial markets should have confidence in Donald Trump because as the policies come through, I think um, the markets will react positively to those changes. Can you envisage or predict any uh, sweeping changes to the US economy under a Trump administration? I haven't looked at it in detail, but I can see from the people that he's hired uh, in senior positions, he's definitely got the right team to make huge changes. He's taken uh, risks in hiring people who are controversial. Uh, I think he's got an overall plan uh, and I think he's doing the right thing. So based on who Donald Trump has hired, who do you think that the winners and losers are going to be under the Trump administration? I think Donald Trump is definitely pro-business. It's very hard to tell whether that will translate to businesses in the US hiring more or would it be the business owners who are going to be uh, better off. I think it's still too early to tell. I don't think Donald Trump's necessarily interested in being popular. Now he has been voted in. I think it's probably time for him to become more unpopular and uh, bring in policies that people may not like initially, but I think medium to long term it will benefit the US economy. 